Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize the taskbar on Windows 11. A lot of people have been switching to Windows 11 recently with the end of life support for Windows 10. And there's things about Windows 11 that people may not like when it comes out of the box. If you want, first of all, just a little bit more of a traditional feel for your taskbar, maybe for example, you don't like this being in the middle. You would prefer it to be on the side. Over here, like it's always been in Windows, let's change that. First, we're going to right click on the taskbar so that we can get taskbar settings. We're gonna click that. That's gonna open our settings application and go right to the taskbar section. We can do a few things. First of all, we can remove the search button. I've already hidden it. So by default, you're gonna see this search box. You're gonna see the Copilot button in the corner here. You're gonna see the task view switcher right here. If you press this button, it shows you everything open. And you can also have the widgets button here is right here. This is just showing a widget right here with the weather and a bunch of news and all this busy stuff that I don't usually like to see. So we can turn those off. Let's get rid of the widgets. We don't need that. Let's get rid of the task view. Task view is super handy if you're on a, say, tablet and you want to be able to switch quickly between your virtual desktops and your, all your open apps. It's actually pretty handy for that. But on a desktop situation, it's not really necessary and you can just hit Alt tab to be able to switch or windows tab to get that exact same thing so we can just go ahead and turn that off too boom clean things up already this search bar is very redundant because it's also built into the menu here when you start searching like cow or something like that you're basically already getting a search and we all know when the search is no offense a little bit lacking so i'm going to hide that too we don't need that copilot unless you actually use copilot you can just turn that off okay so we've cleaned things up a little bit. Next steps, we can have the touch keyboard on. Again, this is handy if you are using tablet-based windows like on a Surface. If you're not, you can turn that off. I have that on because I like to remote into this from my tablet, from my iPad, so it's kind of handy. So now we're going to go into taskbar behaviors. We can see it's defaulted to center. We can turn everything to the left, now you're getting a little bit more of a traditional feel of Windows. Show badges on the taskbar. I believe that's for notifications. So if you don't like that, if you're me, you hate notification badges, get rid of that. You've got all kinds of things. Select the far corner of the taskbar to show desktop. So this is a pretty traditional setting as well. So you could click on here to show your desktop. That's a pretty traditional setting in Windows. So you can turn that back on. So you can also combine taskbar buttons and hide labels always or only when it's full or you could just say never and then you always get these labels if you're like me and sometimes at a glance you don't remember what all the icons mean you can use that so i like to say never or only when it's full so those are a few customizations that you can do out of the box in windows 11 but say you would like to oh and another thing this this is an important one is you can right click on any app here that you don't want pinned and just say unpin from taskbar. If I'm not using the Xbox app on here, I can just unpin that. You can also pin another app. Say I like to use PowerPoint every day, then I can right click it and I can pin that to the taskbar now for my convenience. So that is sort of level one that you could do with customization for the Windows taskbar. Let's jump on to level two to get even more customization by using Explorer Patcher.